Hi, this is Florian. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to define outlines in FishQuant, outlines to define where the cells and the transcription sites are in your image data. We basically continue from the second tutorial where we set up the folder structure. Just as a little reminder, we have a folder with the fish data, we have subfolders for the images and the outlines and also for the various results files. In FishQuant, we already specified where FishQuant can find those folders. So we're basically set to go. As a first step, we have to adjust the experimental parameters that will be used to calculate the theoretical PSF. We do this simply by clicking on the Modify button here. There's a number of parameters that we define. I save those also in a little text file as a reminder so we basically have to update the step size set the refractive index is the same numerical aperture is the same mission wavelength we have to adjust and also the excitation wavelength microscope is wide field so that's okay Then we can load the image data. This can simply be done by pressing on the load image button. Each time we load a new image, the analysis results of the previous analysis will be deleted. So we just confirm this. Fishcon will automatically go in the image subfolder that we specified. Here we select the third image. It will be loaded. You see an image with two cells, uh, two transcription sites and a number of nascent transcripts. In order to define the outlines now, we press on the Define Outlines button. This will open another interface. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too big for this uh, screen capture, but I will just explain it in full detail now. So here we have a button finished that we press as soon as we're done with the outline definition. Here. We define the new cells. Each time we press on new cell, we can define a new cell. It will be listed in this box. We will see it later. We can modify the geometry or we can simply delete cells. We can also define the entire image as one cell if you want to. As soon as we define all the cells, we can define the transcription site. This can either be done automatically based on an intensity value or we define them manually as we did it for the cells by the same controls but now for the transcription sites. We have a few other things we can specify. Interesting is the option to define different geometries so we can define cells and transcription sites either as polygons, rectangles or ellipses. We can also zoom into an image by selecting the zoom from the image tools, click on the image to zoom out, press shift and click. When we are zoomed in, we can use the pan tool to move around. Now we move out again. We can show the stack either as a maximum intensity projection as it's shown right now, or we show it as a C stack. And here we can move through the C stack we can also change the contrast of the image, the minimum and the maximum. There are a number of other options. Loading a second stack, a DAPI image for instance, uh, they are described in detail in the user manual. So we now want to start outlining our cells. As a geometry we set the polygon we press new cell, the cursor will then transform into cross, depending on your computer this might take a little while, so just wait for a few seconds. You move over the image, you see it's a cross. We define the outline by simply pressing to define the knots of the polygon. As soon as we are done, we go back to the first point, the cross transform to a circle, and we double click.
the outline will turn into a green solid line and we see that cell 1 was added to the list. Then we can set, uh, define a second cell. We press again on new cell. We follow the outline. And again, we double click on the first point and we now have the second cell. Now we can define the two transcription sites. What's important here is that each transcription site is associated to one cell. This means that I have to first select the corresponding cell where I want to draw my transcription site and then I can draw the site. I can select the cells from the list box. So if I select cell 1, cell 1 will be outlined in green. Accordingly for cell 2, the second cell will be outlined. So we now want to select cell 1 to define the first transcription site. As a geometry, we can use the rectangle. We can also zoom into the image to make it easier. We click on new transcription site. We simply draw a rectangle around the site. If we now want to highlight the second transcription site, and we forget to switch to this cell. Fishcon will simply tell us that it's not possible and it will not draw this outline. You're going to get an error message that says transcription set has to be within the cell. So simply select the second cell and draw your transcription set. Now we are done. We can zoom out and see the two outlines that we defined. By pressing finished we go back to the main interface. So now we have the two outlines defined with their transcription sites. We can now save this outline. This is from the fish quant menu that you can unfortunately not see in the screen recording. But so you go in the menu to fish quant main. There you have the sub menu save. And there you have the option outline of cells. This will open a new interface. It will be automatically in the outline subfolder that we defined. It takes the name of the image, adds underscore underscore outline dot text. This is a simple text file that contains all the information that we specified, the experimental parameters, and also the position of the cells and the associated transcription sites. So we can simply press on save. If we have multiple images, we could either open them here, open a new image and select the outlines, or alternatively we can use the outline definition tool, which is available again from the FishQuant menu in the menu tools. Here you can define the open the outline designer. This is the same menu that we saw before, with one difference here, that you now have the open image in enabled. So you can open the individual images, define the outlines, and then from the menu of this outline define, uh, designer, save those outlines. So this way you can uh, define the outlines in all your images, and you're ready for the next step, which would be the detection of mature mRNA which will be in the next tutorial.